I want to talk about uh, the World Juniors. 2005, if it was, with yeah. the, the All-Star. Do you want to list off the names? Do you remember them, or should I bring it I up? I don't, but I can I can pick, I can can pick. think of a bunch of them already. Like we were going through you, your... Obviously. Yeah, yeah. Bergeron, Getzlaff, Carter, Shea Weber, Nigel Dawes. From, yeah. Oddly enough, I remember that one. Sidney Crosby, Andrew Ladd. Sid, I love Jeff Sidney Crosby. Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Richards. <laughs> Sorry, Sid. <laughs> Sorry, Sid. Yeah. yeah, Dixon went first. Seabrook. <laughs> but I guess, yeah. If I, Weber I'll, was on that. Team? I'll interrupt you because, I mean, obviously, I just asked you, and you said you never really like pictured anything. It just everything just kind of happened in your career, and obviously, at the time, you knew that these players were good, but you didn't. I'm pretty sure every single guy went on to play pro on that team. Yeah. If I'm not oh, mistaken. I think they all, yeah. I think. But at the yeah, time, the only guy that didn't play in the NHL, to be honest. You were? I, I didn't want to say I it. I think so, yeah. <laughs> but you had a sniff anyway. <laughs> That's all right. No worries. But uh, at the time, that squad. You, you, there's no way you could have known that this that this group of players was going to be the best team ever. There was a... I remember it was a lockout year, right? So Yeah, and everything oh, was on junior. Everyone was shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if there wasn't a lockout that year... I'd say at least half that team probably isn't there. In the NHL. But what does that say about you, though? You know, yeah, like... no, it was, we had a good, um, you know, it was kind of you go through the program and stuff, and then we had, uh, I made the under-18. Uh, we went to the Halinka tournament. Mm-hmm. And then we won gold there, and then we went to Sick. the uh, under-18 in Yaroslav in Russia. Mm-hmm. And... We kind of went over. It was the World Championships, and you know a lot of guys were still in playoffs, so it was kind of a, a you know, kind of a made up. Whoever was kind of out of playoffs yeah. gets picked, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then so we went fun. over, and I mean that was a really fun tournament, like great. You know, there's a lot of those guys were there, but we, it was just a great. Uh, you know, we had a great group of guys. It was uh, I forget how long the tournament was. You're over there for quite a quite a long time though, so we end up winning gold there. And then, uh, Jesus. Then we're kind of thinking, like, you know, it's pretty because all the other teams had their top guys there, their top guys, and you guys all won the it. other countries. So, <laughs> yeah, to win, to be able to win that, that was that was pretty cool. And then, yeah, it just kind of went in. I, I went into, uh, I got an invite to summer camp that year, and had a really good camp, and had a good uh, camp at Christmas. Made the team that year, and yeah, it just kind of, you know, we lost. We got the silver that year, but you know, you know, you get pretty. The team gets kind of pretty close when you're at an event like that because you're you're gone for a month. And you're all where together. was it that year? Uh, Finland. Okay, Helsinki. Helsinki, yeah. yeah. Great spot. So yeah, you get to you know you get pretty close with the team and stuff, and and then same thing. You just go into the next year. You know, they had a, had a pretty good summer camp and Christmas camp, and and uh, yeah, I was for was sure. lucky enough to to make that team and. But I think I knew, you know, there was a lot of guys there. There was a lot of high draft picks too, right? I mean, you're oh. looking at these these guys. And I kind of went into camp. I was a seventh-round pick. So going into that first world junior camp, I mean, everyone there is basically Top three the rounds. whole first round mm. is probably there, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. So, and it was kind of, uh, you know, there was basically no pressure on me at all. It was True. It was just... Oh, I'm a seventh rounder. Yeah, just gonna have some fun. Let's just go enjoy this and do what, uh, you know, just do the best best I can. But you know, things worked out, and you know, it's good uh, good memories. And and you know, but saying that, there was a lot of those guys where you know you knew that they were gonna be uh, (laughs) all stars. Yeah, you know, most of those guys. Do you remember who you played on a line with? Uh, I was with uh, Frazier, Colin Frazier. Yeah. And uh, Clark MacArthur. Oh, you guys were the energy line. I yeah. remember it now. Yeah. That was almost like one of the last years of that muck and grind style. Yeah. So we had... Uh, Double D on. Yeah. We had the, the three of us, and we all got along good, so... Was there any other Maritimers on that team? We had Sid. Sid, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sid, sir. I keep forgetting Sid. Well, because that was such a big deal, man. Like, obviously, everyone knew Sid was going to be on the World Junior Team, whether he was 12 or whether he was 18, right? Yeah. But for another guy to make it from the Maritimes, man, was a huge deal. And I remember being a kid going, what? Like, yeah. Halifax? Like, uh, you know. Yeah, no, it was crazy uh, shit. Did you know Sid growing up playing, like, minor hockey oh, yeah. and stuff? Yeah. So I, oh, Sid, that helps. Sid would come up. Uh, I played on a – actually played in a selects team with him when I was – Raiders? I think it was the Raiders, yeah. We were real young. Never made it. 
Yeah, cause you suck. <laughs> yeah, Hurricane he was Trump. really young. I was young. He was really young. <laughs> so he used to, but he'd come up and play double underage. Holy, fuck. I'm pretty sure he was double underage. Cause yeah, he's uh he's an '87. I'm an '85. So wouldn't it, like for double underage, that means he would be two years young. First year Pee Wee playing, second year Bantam. Like if that, like not obviously. I know not we, didn't exactly. have, yeah. the, we didn't have. We didn't. It was kind of. I think the ages are different now. Okay. True. I have no idea they did, they how the ages, ages were. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. No, I just, but he'd come up and, and I did some uh, some summer camps with him as a kid, you know, when we were younger. So, yeah, I always knew Sid growing up and, you know, we play against each other, things like that. So, no, it was cool knowing a guy going in for sure. It was, uh, you know, because there's not, not too many guys uh, get that opportunity, right? And, you know, it was kind of kind of cool to go through that process with, with him for sure. It's always nice going into a camp or just anything in life, just knowing someone, you know? Yeah. It's just always nice to go into a room and be like, I fucking know that guy. Thank God. Yeah. What's going on? I'm sitting next to you. How are you doing? It's just automatic. There's one, you lock the eyes with that person. You're like, oh, okay. You know, I'm not a complete outcast here yeah. because you got someone. But I think, what was I going to say? The Was there any other Maritimers even at the camps or was it just you two fellas? We had, uh, in the summer camp, we had... Uh, Nathan Saunders was there from PEI. He was a PEI guy. Okay. Defenseman. He was playing in Moncton at the time. I'm just trying to think. That's pretty good memory on you, though. Because we had, uh, but we had a we had a good group of '85s even around here. But uh, it was just kind of different then. It was, you know, obviously Sid coming through really helped uh, yeah. hockey in Nova Scotia. Yeah. And, I'd say probably Atlantic Canada, but Nova Scotia for sure. Having him, him come through, and then, you know, you had that, that really good age group there with uh, Shepard, Marshawn, Hillier, Hillier, yeah, Bondarchuk. So you're not. So their they age? were all buddies coming through. Yeah, I think they're. What would they be? Eighty. Oh man. Eighty nine. Eighty nine. Because Sid's eighty seven, obviously. Yeah, eighty nine so sounds right. Eighty It's hard to keep up, eh? Like. Yeah, but that that age group, I think. I think they went on to – they did really well. And I don't know if it was the Canada Games or one of those tournaments. They, they had it like – I mean, that's a good group of guys, right, yeah, coming up yeah. at the same age. They did really good. I think it was the under-17s. I think they won a medal, I, I think. so. But, yeah, like having Crosby and then those guys come through, it's uh, – you know, you're seeing more and more – more and more guys from around here yeah. doing their thing, which is which is awesome. 